A protest action called Stop COP29 was held in Germany, organized by the Azerbaijani People's Parliament and the Democratic Azerbaijan Vote Organization. It was stated here that at this moment when the whole world's attention is focused on Azerbaijan, there are a large number of political prisoners in the country's prisons. The action stated that the human rights situation in Azerbaijan is alarming, with long-standing restrictions on the rights to freedom of expression, association, and assembly. Peaceful protests, including those led by environmental groups, are regularly violently suppressed and 347 people are currently in prison on politically motivated charges. 30 of them are journalists. The work of independent media in Azerbaijan is severely hampered by draconian laws and the constant threat of retaliation for any real or perceived criticism of the authorities. Most independent media have been crushed, as has civil society. It is noted that, there have been no positive changes since Azerbaijan has been given the chairmanship of COP29. It was also stated that the authorities care about the climate, nature, environment, water, and at the same time cannot violate human rights. Then, an appeal was made to the leaders and parliaments of the countries participating in COP29, as well as to the UN and European Parliament, and some other organizations. They were asked to help release political prisoners in Azerbaijan. COP29 is going to be held in Azerbaijan. Mm -hmm. We are protesting. Mm -hmm. Why? Because COP29 is about the justice for climate, mm -hmm. to ensure that there is no any pollution to the climate. Why? Because all of us are living on this earth and we have right to live in healthy condition. However, people are being arrested, tortured, and raped, I mean raped by in police and prosecution officers. Okay. And 23 war veterans for last three years just committed suicide by burning themselves. So if the country's atmosphere is polluted by people committing suicide, so, and if the COP29 is held in this country, is uh, this is to fool all the humanity. Mm -hmm to fool all the civil world. Stop COP29! Stop COP29! Stop COP29! Stop COP29! Stop COP29! COP29! Stop COP29! The Center of National Resistance reports that about 84,000 Kadyrovites are preparing for war against Ukraine. They were involved voluntarily. According to the CNR, Kadyrov plans to send Chechens to the front, claiming that Chechnya has fulfilled all tasks and that this number of terrorists was recruited voluntarily. The organization emphasizes that Moscow is not coping with the war situation and the regime lacks cannon fodder. The CNR indicates that the puppet regime will do everything possible to use the opportunity to send Chechens and other representatives of national minorities of the Russian Federation to the front, acting on the ideas of Putin and his entourage. It is noted that according to Kadyrov's statements, Chechnya has fulfilled all the tasks set by the Kremlin to avoid mobilization. That is, this number of terrorists was recruited voluntarily and people should be grateful to him for this, the National Resistance Center points out. Earlier in October, it became known that Kadyrov proposed sending traffic offenders in Chechnya to the war against Ukraine. He instructed Russian State Duma Deputy Adam Delimkanov to take this issue under control. Additionally, according to Kadyrov, a new regiment is being formed in Chechnya, consisting of 2,500 personnel, and the deployment of offenders to the front will be appropriate. Earlier, Kadyrov said that Chechnya, which is a federal republic of Russia, had sent more than 26,000 fighters to Ukraine from the start of the war, including 12,000 volunteers, and that at the time, 7,000 of them were actively fighting. There have also been several Chechen armed formations fighting on the side of Ukraine in the war that began with Russia's full-scale aggression in Ukraine. Kadyrov's militant commander of the special forces, Akhmat Apti Alodinov, reported that Russian military committed 187 crimes in the Kursk region. He learned about this from the head of the Ministry of Internal Affairs for the Kursk region, Viktor Kosarev. Among the crimes were murders and rapes. Alodinov did not specify the period during which these crimes occurred, and allegedly the militants of Akhmat did not commit any of them. 
It is worth noting that the head of the Chechen Republic, Ramzan Kadyrov, accused State Duma deputies Bekan Barakoev and Rizvan Kurbanov, as well as Senator Suleiman Kerimov, of plotting to kill him. Since Kadyrov's ascent to the presidency in 2007, the Chechen government has gradually fortified its friendship with the Kremlin by quashing its internal opposition movements. Still, the legacy of Russian intervention in Chechnya continues to inspire outrage, leading Chechens in the diaspora to join arms with Ukrainian soldiers in a kindred fight against Russian domination. Three Chinese astronauts returned to Earth on Monday after a six-month stay on China's Tiangong space station. A parachute slowed their capsule's nighttime descent to a remote landing area in China's Inner Mongolia region. The Shenzhou 18 crew emerged after touching down at 1.24 a.m. local time. A Chinese national flag stuck in the ground near the capsule flapped in the wind. The Tiangong space station, which was completed two years ago, is part of China's efforts to be a global leader in space exploration. In recent years, the country's space program has brought back rocks from the moon and landed a rover on Mars. It aims to put a person on the moon by 2030, which would make it the second nation after the United States to do so. The space station astronauts returned after welcoming a replacement three-person crew last week for the latest six-month mission. The new crew will conduct experiments, carry out spacewalks and install equipment to protect the station from space debris. A space agency official said in April that Tiangong has maneuvered several times to avoid debris and had partially lost power when the solar wing's power cables were hit by debris, according to a report from the official Xinhua News Agency. China is among the countries that have created space debris, including the reported breakup of a rocket stage in August during the launch of the first 18 satellites for a planned communications network similar to Starlink. Tiangong, which means heavenly palace, is in orbit around the Earth. Only Chinese astronauts have gone to the space station so far, but a space agency spokesperson said last week that China is in discussions to select and train astronauts from other nations to join the missions, Xinhua reported. Astronauts from several nations have traveled to the International Space Station, but China is blocked from that program mainly because of U.S. concerns over the military's involvement in China's space program.